picture of the Abercrombie model at the beginning and no, I look nothing like her, I know. I'm just trying to give you a few tips on how to maybe get a little bit of that look. In the picture, it doesn't look like she's wearing any makeup, but that means the makeup was done really well. Okay, let's get started. Bare canvas. Most important thing to remember is that no matter what products you're using, you want to make sure they're appropriate to the color of your face. Go somewhere and have somebody help match you. Mac will do it, Ulta will do it, Sephora will do it. Go in, a majority of those places will give you samples to take home because the last thing you want when you've spent money on a decent product is to find out in photographs or something else that you've got that line of demarcation. And what that is is that the color that you were given or color that you chose doesn't match appropriately and so what you'll see in photographs is your face will look detached from the rest of your body, your neck will be too white, your face will be too dark or vice versa. So it's important to go somewhere and find a decent product. What I would recommend for girls that don't like to put a lot on is either get a, um, a sheer coverage powder like Bare Minerals makes them, um, you can also get the MAC face and body that's also really popular because you can shear that down and put that on as light as you want to. What I start off with is the MAC Studio Fix or Studio Fix Fluid uh, has SPF in it and NW30. For myself, I put it on the back of my hand and I use a sponge just because it's quick, gives me dexterity. I can pack it into areas where I want more coverage. My problem is larger pores. And so, what I do is I start off in the middle of the face and go outwards. Uh, mine is a loose mineral powder by MAC in, um, what color is this? Oh, medium plus. Kind of looks like this. And I use a brush. Even if you have a packed powder, use a brush, dab it into it, and dab it onto those areas for coverage. Okay, what's really important about the um, real natural look is that you still want to look like the sun has hit your face, like you've been outdoors. So what I'm going to use is the Mineralized Skin Finish in uh, Medium Deep. And you're going to use this to, well they say to apply where the sun hits your face, but in all practicality, the sun never really hits your chin. So what we're going to do is start here, just lightly brush, you can tap it in. You'll see people will use a figure three, so we'll do this, which is easy to remember. Take Cubic by MAC. It's a real light, um, almost like a, a mauve kind of color, like a dusty rose is what I would describe it as. I'm just going to take a little bit, put it on, take a fluffy brush, Apply it to the, uh, the apples of the cheeks. Eyes in the picture are extremely natural. Um, the colors I'm going to use today are going to be uh, Blanc type in matte, or it's a matte shade. I'm going to use Shroom, which is also a light beige with um, it's a satin. So it's going to have a little bit of a shimmer. I am going to use um, Omega, which is another matte light. So these are all super light shades. And I'm also going to use Espresso, which is another matte. Okay, so you can see I have one eye done right now, so you can see what we're going to um, shoot for here. I am going to start off by covering my lid with a painterly paint pot. Um, this is just to um, give your shadows something to adhere to and make the color a little more true because um, your eyes can notoriously have um, veins or discoloration and what's nice is that the uh, paint pot or any sort of base is going to create um, more of a uh, an even canvas for the rest of your colors and your colors are going to go on a little more true. We're going to start off with on the lid is the color Shroom. It's a satin color. I'm going in with a 239 brush. This one is Sigma's. And I'm going to dab the entire lid. Okay, with that done I'm going in with a number 10, the 10 Smashbox, and I'm going to use the color Omega. It is a matte taupe kind of color and I'm just going to brush that into the crease windshield wiper swirlies <laughs> that's really a term I 
I don't want to go too dark because I want to keep this natural. I am also going to use the Oh, I'm going to use Blanc type. It's a matte, oh, light skin color, like a off white. Tap it underneath the brow, create a highlight. Their espresso is a matte brown. I'm going to take the 239 the other side, dip one side of it in, line your brush up like this, and sweep inwards. What it does is it creates that outer V without having to do a whole lot of blending. And it's going to get some of that color to blend over. Ten. Blend. There you go. Real simple, simple neutral, um, more natural color. The only shimmer you have is on the lid with shroom. And I am going to use the color spiked on my brows. I'm also going to use that color espresso on my brows with an angled brush. And I'm also going to use the angled brush on the lash line. I'm not going to use a gel liner because I want to keep this this look extremely natural with really soft lines, soft colors, uh, soft techniques and I am going to just darken this a little bit more. You get the idea. I am probably going to sweep a little bit of the shroom underneath the lash line. I'm going to finish the brows. I am going to crimp or curl the eyelashes and put on some Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have it. We've done the eyes. Um, the important thing to remember with this is that we did a lot with just a few products. You can do, um, it's important to think outside of the box. You don't need just eyeliners to do eyeliner. You don't need just eyebrow pencils to do eyebrows. You can use, you could saw, I used the shadows for a majority of different things. I used four eyeshadows, and the darkest eyeshadow I used for my brow line, or my brows, and I also used it as my eyeliner. So what's nice is that you can do a lot of things with a few products. You don't need highlighters to do highlighting. You can, you could take something like that shroom, because it's a satin. You know, you can use, um, use it on a little bit of a brush, and you can use it as a highlight on your cheeks. You can also use it as a, um, a quick little highlight for your lips. Um, it's just neat. You're going to... If you um, think more artistically, makeup is all about art and it's all about taking artistic license with it. So um, use your creativity. Try different uh, mixing mediums. Um, have a good time. So just to finish up this look, something that's going to be really natural is I have the lip stain, the um, Manuel Ungaro, Emmanuel Ungaro lip stain. You can also use something like um, the Outlast by CoverGirl. Um, all lip stains all come out because they are, that's exactly what they are, they are a stain. Um, they come out really pink. And so what I like to do is put them on as a base color, really natural base color, and then I use either a chapstick or some sort of lip color over the top of it um, just to bring that pink color down a little bit. So I will use the Emmanuel Angaro one right now just because it's a little bit um, quicker to apply. The Outlast um, color is a pen, so it takes a little longer to apply. So I'm just going to quickly slap this one on. Just put a real light shade. You can darken this, but it's, it's never going to get to be like a red. Mm, I know a bunch of companies make them. I think Benefit has a Benetint that you can use on your lips as well. So there's the lip stain. I'm going to let it dry. I am going to use a cream sheen by MAC in the color Sublime or Sublime Shine. It's going to be a little bit darker. This is much more pink than it is in that photograph. But what's nice is that once the color, once the um, cream sheen or your lip gloss wears off, you still have just a little bit of a stain on your lips so that right now, especially during the winter, you still have some color. So that's it for that. Have a good time. Play around with the 
the bronzers. Make sure you go and get correctly matched so you don't get that line. And um, that's about it. So uh, I, in the next video, I am going to show you how to do really, really natural um, false eyelashes. So stay tuned.